For many high school seniors, prom means everything. This is like my last year, and you know, I want to have something to remember high school with. But students like Delisha Boxley and Mia Ross know those memories can come at a cost. Prom is expensive. You know, I got to get the hair, the shoes, the nails, and the dress. And for many families in this economy, prom is suddenly a luxury they just can't afford. Oh, my dad, he he's having trouble with money, and so I think it was best for me to try to, you know, respect that and, you know, try not to ask for so much. Lucky for Delisha and her friends, there's help. Three days a week, the halls of Bloom Trail High turn into a makeshift boutique where girls can walk away with the dress of their dreams without paying a penny. This is so adorable. Bloom Trail alum and parent Kristen Trammell says she spearheaded the push to help collect these dresses, shoes, and jewelry so students don't miss out on the popular rite of passage. We're a community of uh, working class families. And I think a great number of us have been hit hard by the economic downturn. I want them to not have to worry about anything um, that kids shouldn't have to worry about. So far, the boutique has been a success, and some students who were at first reluctant to wear a donated or slightly used dress take comfort in spotting so many of their peers right here after school. I like coming here and seeing people I know so that I don't think that I'm the only one. Back when the program started, they only had seven dresses, and today they've collected more than 150. But they don't plan on stopping there, and in fact, they're trying to collect tuxedos so the boys at Bloom Trail can go to prom too. In the meantime, the evening of May 1st couldn't come soon enough for Mia, who now has the perfect dress for the perfect night. I imagine my prom to be like the proms that I see on TV. They have like a party or a prom and everybody looks so nice and it's all magical. Yeah, something like that would be nice. Bahar Tikteshian, CLTV News.